How you doing guys? This is Hybrid Steel of the Rusty Nuts Garage. Thank you very much for joining us in today's video. So if you look in the top right hand corner, you will notice that our money is dwindling. Even after we sold two cars, if you haven't checked the other video, we put it out a couple of days ago just to show you the production of what we can do here. Now we've got 78,000 left after our massive amount of money we made from those cars. And you're probably wondering, where the hell did our money go? Well, like I said at the end of the video, we had to basically get the F1's body built, which means it's all moulded. So we bought the F1 in, we took a, a, a basically a digital uh, picture of the entire car, so the company that are actually making the body have got it, so they can just mould the body out for us. Which is pretty cool, but it's really freaking expensive. And that's what we did. And that's why we haven't got a lot of money left. So now we've got 78 grand left, we need to do this car for 78 grand. And then we need to do that car. Now, I don't know how much the engine is going to cost in this. And like I said, if I have to sacrifice my cars, the ones I have in storage, my Bel Airs, then so be it. But we do need to get this done. So, without further ado, we're going to strip the crap out of this car. We're going to get it all down. We're going to do all the stuff we need to do. I actually like these rims. So, worst comes to worst, these are a bit beat up. We can't really keep them. But if I can get them make a model, we're all good. I want to keep the tyre size as well, which is all good. And I want to repair as much as I can. I don't want to spend more than like 25 grand on this. I did say 20 in the last video, but that's that's a bit optimistic. So let's um let's start. This is the other skyline that we need to strip away. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this. So we're going to get the gearbox out now, that means we can pull the engine and that means we can just clean it all up and we're all good. Now I did speak about the engine in a previous video about what we might do with this and like may upgrade it to a supercharged version but I don't really want to. Like after spending that much money on the uh, on the F1's body I don't really want to touch like upgrading. So we're basically going to be stripping all this down and then we're going to repair it all as best we can. Worst comes first, we have to buy some new parts, but I want to keep it as original as possible. Well, I say original, whoever built this car before us, they, they ruined it, but we can work with it, it's all good. Um, so we just need to strip the rest of the car out, and then we need to send the body over to Steve. Danny's going to help him as well, and then we'll look at these wheels as well, because I like them. I like this style, and I like, strangely, I like the colour as well. Anyways, let's strip the rest of this up. <laughs> All good. So we've got rid of the rest of the engine and bits and pieces. We just need to take the intercooler off now because we have to be under the car to take that off. And then what we have to do is we take the cross member off, then we take the exhaust, then we take off the back area as well. Literally stripping it all down and putting it on like training wheels, basically, so we can get it over to Steve. He can have a mess around with it, and it's all good. That's gone. It's done. It's stripped down. It's fine. It's yes. It's finished. I mean, thankfully, it didn't cost us any money at all. I mean, it's going to cost us now because we've got to weld the frame. We've got to do some, like, looking after the frame. So that's going to cost money on, like, just patching and making sure it's all solid. This is the one that we're going for. But at the moment, I, 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 w I would like 100k out of this happily. That would be nice. But I'm not sure it's going to happen, which means um, it's looking more and more likely that the ballet may have to be sacrificed. I don't want it to, but it's going to have to. Right. Jeff's going to be messing with the engine in there. Um, going to send this over to Steve and Danny. They can mess around with that, clean it up, straighten it up, and it's all good. So that's that's going to be a good couple of days worth of work. And then, uh, yeah, and it's it's all good. So I'm just hoping that we can get this done. I'm hoping it's going to cost. It's it's not going to be as expensive. I'm thinking. Anyways. Let's get that done now. So I'm going to go and do the stripping down of the tyres, the suspension. I'll go and help Jeff on the engine because, you know, we're, we're taking our time with this one. We want this one to be good enough for customers just to go, hey, you know what? I want it and it's all good. So, yeah, there you go. Bye-bye, car. You're going now. Awesome. Okay, so the tyres are in order. The rims are in order that we were missing. That's all good. That's okay. Just, everything's been stripped down. 
the body's over at, well, the, the chassis's over with Steve and Danny. Me and Jeff are going to be now taking apart the engine. Then we need to do all our repairs. Then we can, if we have to order anything, we can order it, and that's all good. So, yeah, I, I said, like I, like I said before, we were going to do a... We were basically going to ba like turn this into the supercharged version, but it involves buying a whole new engine. And with the, our budget the way we've got it, I don't really want to spend much else. I know that if we're going to have to buy parts, we're probably going to need more money. So, and... If I can save money on this one and then we go into the F1 and the F1 gets very expensive, we don't have to spend as much money. You know, we have all of our cash plus whatever I can get out of the Bel Air that I've got. So, let's just hope, shall we? Right, let's get all this apart. Let's get this apart and then we'll be all good. Ah, <sighs> right. Okay, so after a day or two, we took the engine apart. A lot of it was rusted up, and it was and it sucked. I'm gonna be completely honest. I haven't seen an engine like that for a little while, and we deal with a lot of junk stuff here, and that was pretty awful. So, um, I'm hoping some of it was salvageable. I, I hope because if not, it's 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 horrific. Um, body's still not back yet, but you know this one's taken a very special amount of time because of just how bad the body was. Steve and Danny, I know they'll do the, they'll do a good job. Now I'm going to sit here. I'm going to repair through all this stuff because we can't afford to buy a lot of new stuff, and we're trying to keep the budget down on this. So um, yeah, let's get into this now. We need to buy some brand new stuff. We also have got the tires and the rims in now, so that's all good. The body is still well. The chassis is still over at body, being straightened and patched and cleaned and everything else, which is okay. And now I need to build a really long list of shopping parts and then we can go down the shop and buy up a load of more stuff. Okay, so we've put in our massive order of parts and bits and pieces. We can't really do much else until the chassis comes back, so I'm going to go home now. The reason why is just because when the chassis is turned up, we're all good and it's going to be here. And then on the plus side, when we put all the parts back in, if there's anything missing, we can put in a small order and get things done as well. So I'm going to go home and, uh, yeah, going to sort of uh, toddle off. <sighs> all good so that's the engine rebuilt which is nice now we need to get the engine crane in and we need to get the ball of the boys over here to just help put the engine back in because of the size of the engine it's a little bit heavier i can't do this on my own and um, we broke our trolley the other day which sucks so when we finish this the first thing we're buying is a brand new trolley that we can move engines around on because the wheels over here on our little dolly thing here they don't really work very well anymore so yeah we need to buy a new one i'm going to be completely honest where we do this like when we finish this f1 and if we've got enough money if the money comes in well i'm going to be looking at redoing this garage like that's how that's how much money i'm hoping to make from this because we need new lifts these are getting old and decrepit look the rust that's settling in isn't nice um the bricks need to be worked on i just need to redo the whole place and give it a new like facelift so that's pretty much where the money's going to go at the moment, and even if we get like a couple of mil for it, it's going to really, really help the shop. Trust me. Ah, brilliant. It's all good. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Take a break. Go go on lunch. Oh, I've got this. Okay, so the first thing I want to do here, I've, obviously I've sent them all on their lunch break. They can go off and be happy and it's all right. All I want to do is I just want to put the bare necessities in, so we're going to put the uh, the fluid chambers in, fuse box, just basically mount them all in so it's all ready to go. So when we lift the car up, all that's under, uh, all that's already put on, then we just need to put the underneath on, and then we're all good. Awesome. Everything's mounted, everything's good. All we have to do is fill that lot up. That's okay. Right. I'm gonna upgrade. I'm gonna put this up, and then I'm gonna go for dinner, and then we'll come back and uh, we'll get putting all this back together. I know our first time I'll go put the suspension and the tires back together, but apart from that, we're doing all right. But uh, yeah, it's definitely coming together now, and it's all good. Okay, so that's everything underneath the car done. It's been a couple of days, but you know the joys of editing and the joys of speeding time up is that you just saw it all in one go. But it's taken a very long time. You know, there was a bit of fat. There was a few fiddly little bits in there that we had to deal with, but we got there eventually. Um, now we're going to install the interior because, well, where are you going to sit when you drive a car? 
on a brand new leather seat. Look at these. It's a real nice sporty so seat. I'm going to be honest, probably not for best for me because I, got, I like a little bit of cushion. But when it comes to seats like this, you, you're going to have a really, really hard bum afterwards. Let's put it away. So the next thing we've got to do is put on the body kit. Now, we did spend a little bit extra on the kit just because we want to make this look as good as possible. The best way to make it look as good as possible is to put an actual proper body kit on this. So, we're going to put all the doors and windows back in and everything else. Then we're going to fill up the liquids. Then we're going to put the hood on. We'll get it over to the trial. And then we can go through the headlights and wheels and everything else. But, it's all coming together. And this colour is really, really growing on me. If you want to make a statement, definitely buy a really bright yellow car. At least we know the engine works, so that's, that, that's fine. Now we can get this over to paint, and then we can look into this. Now, as said, I'm thinking of going, like, yellow. The reason why we bring it out of the front is because of the natural heat of this place. It dries paint off quite well. So, yeah, the <laughs> wow is all I have to say. That is stunning. <sighs> so there we go. One brand new, I say brand new, we made it brand new, Skyline. Um, we're not sure how much we're putting this up for at the moment, so I'm going to go in the office. I'm going to have a chat with the lads, and we're going to see how much we're going to sort of like get this down for. Whatever we put, whatever we get for this car now, it's literally going into this. Everything that we know is going to be going into this. The I had a phone call from the molding company the other day. It, we were the next in line, so all we've got to do is wait for the chassis, to, uh, the actual mould to turn up so we can put that back on this car. Then we can start working on it. I mean, we could do the tear down first and then we can start work on the body as well, which actually would help us out a lot. So I think we'll do that next time. So, yeah, now I've just got to go to the office and I've got to go and sell this car. So we're going to put it up on the interwebs, I don't know, 100, 110 grand maybe. See if people want to pick this up because it is a prime example of a a bloody good car all right cool so the for sale sign worked we put it up on our local um social media site i'm not going to mention any names but basically i'll show you i'll show you the map right so social media around here there's there's not a lot of people that live here you know this is a it's a small place you know we we're here this is us right this map is us this is our road um if, if you're ever interested the actual um the, the garage that we own as well that's about here so <laughs> it's a long ways away but yeah so we put it up on our local there's a guy who lives just down here um we're actually going to be shipping it down with danny's going to be taking it we'll go down and we'll sort him out but he's looking at about 105 106k which is good and profit wise for us that's eighty thousand profit we've already done the calculations and stuff it's ideal at the end of the day we're getting a hundred thousand back we bought the car for i think it was about 15 grand from a scrap uh, from a junk auction and we've put another 20 into it so we're, we're gonna make some money off it it's all good and then uh, we're good we're we're, we're, we're we're getting there it's all right so danny's gonna load up now and we're good and i've got to go and get my bel air where did i park it anyways yeah enough about that it's all good oh dude you, you didn't have to oh, he parked so close i had to breathe in on that one to get out so yeah, as you can see, Skyline's gone. 104, I think we got for that one, you know, and some change. Um, he, the guy was genuinely a really nice guy. He said that he was buying it for his son, so his son's going to be really freaking happy with that one. It wasn't the standard engine, so he's got a lot of power under the hood. Now we have to grin, uh, grit and bare our teeth. Um, this is our next major project, and I'm going to be completely honest. It's going to take everything we've got, and if it takes everything I've got, then it's going to take my cars as well. Um, this is, this is the big, the big payday now. And I'm going to be honest, it's scaring me because of how much money we may have to sink into this. We've already put 170 grand into the shell alone. So I have no idea how much all this is going to cost. I don't know how much any of this is going to do. And it's just more and more money, basically. So join me in the next episode where we're going to take this car apart so uh, yeah hopefully we'll see you on the next one so thank you very much for kicking by this is hybrid still of the rusty nuts garage and uh guys thank you very much for kicking by it means a lot see you all in the next one peace out have fun enjoy everything you guys do boom
fist bump to you.